finally watch the tea of the worst day. That's my melody crocs. One looking kitchen. Let's just go back. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Min. If you're not, hi, welcome back. Guys, look at my new homeware. It's so cute. And today, I'm gonna be finally watching Spy Family movie. So I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. But it's currently 11.47, so I have to eat my lunch. Personally, all the animes that I have been watching finished. Mm -hmm. Guys, I need to get changed down. I think I'm gonna be wearing this Spy Family t-shirts. <laughs> Ta-da! I just love how I wear matching anime character every time I watch anime movie. It would be really cute. This is the fit for the day. I'm wearing this Spy Family t-shirt, leather jacket on it, midi length skirt, and this pink tote bag. And I really want to take this Lloyd figures with me. And I also want to take this Anya figure, but this is um, kind of big, so I think I'm gonna be taking only Lloyd. You're coming with me. just got back home and and I got this ramen on my way back home because I'm really craving for it and I also picked a lot of packages out there so let's unbox it together oh and ah! I got this Xinjiang um, ramen bowl because I don't know I feel like it's just so cute so I just had to get it Let me get changed first and let's unbox the packages together. Guys, it's unboxing time. 
I got five packages, but two of them are in my other video, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. So let me just unbox this three now, and one is really huge. Heart Angel collection and it's this mirror This kind of fun looking kitchen I'm gonna be using this too for decorating my bag This is from Yes Style No, this is from Yes24 which is Korean bookstore I get all the manga books from here You guys know that I've been collecting the Sleeping Beauty manga books so I got Two of them and two of Spy Family manga books. This is actually from my friend in Japan. She is Hiyori. We did a box swapping and we did it in summer last year. She sent me so many cute things from Japan and I sent her a lot of cute things from Korea. So excited to open it. Are you guys ready to see? This is like really big and heavy. Let's get started. I already can see so many good things. Oh my god, she sent me this cute letter. Oh my god, I need to read this right now. Oh my god, she's so cute. Everything she wrote in this letter is so cute. Oh my god, this is cushion. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, let me just show you everything later, okay? Because I have so many stuff here, so I, I don't know how to. <gasps> oh my god, I literally haven't wanted to get this. This is Charming Kitty Hair Clips. Oh my gosh. But I couldn't find it in Japan, but she got me this! <gasps> what? I got this fork in Japan and I was about to get this spoon as well, but I couldn't find it anywhere, but she got me this! Wait, wait, wait. No way. It's my Melody Crocs. I literally have this in my wish list and like, I haven't wanted to get this for like over years. I have all this stuff on my chair and my desk right now and like this is like a lot. Like I just finished organizing and I couldn't make it pretty anymore. Okay, first things first. I cannot believe that she sent me this. Oh my gosh. I'm really overwhelmed because look how many stuff I got. This is the Mamali Coaster. And I'm pretty sure this is Korea Kuma soap. Baking decor stuff. Mamali and Kurami hair clips. Oh my god, this is so precious. This is Korea Kuma rice bowl. Chica socks. Chica pillow. This Kurami cushion. This Hamiya lip sets. So cute. And this is the Chikawa pouch. It's pink and Chikawa. And this Korea Kuma spoon and fork. Korea Kuma tea. And this Hello Kitty plush. And Hello Kitty and Kuromi water. And chapsticks. Chikawa PJs. There's this Usagi and Hachiwara's coaster. This charming kitty hair clothes and Kuromi pouch, some gummies and stuff. 
And guys, look at this Chico and Hatsuwari sponge, makeup sponge. And also there's this Kuromi pouch. Like this is my favorite flavor. There's more like a clip and chocolate. I'm so thankful and grateful and I don't know how to say this. Oh my gosh. I'm concerned that I don't think I sent her this much. Hiyori Jang, if you're watching this, please do a box swap thing again. Next time, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna be sending you a lot. More than this, I promise. This is this um this kind of plastic pouch and there are some candies in it. Oh a chocolate. Ta-da! <gasps> it's a good view. This was supposed to be Spy Family postcard, but... It's currently 12.30 I've been reading this manga books for 3 hours So now I need to go to sleep Hey guys, I'm finally here for spilling the tea of the worst Airbnb in Japan. I know it's been a while ever since I mentioned about it. I actually was about to spill the tea in my episode 2 and I actually finished recording and editing it but apparently my vlog was so short to at the part, so... So what happened to us? On our first day, when you arrived to the hotel room, we already got the password of the room in advance because that is the rule of the Airbnb. So we entered the code and we opened the door for our room. It seems like someone was there and someone's luggage and any other stuff or like everywhere. And we of course had to send a message to the host and 
they never answered us. I was like, someone was there and when we are looking and what we booked are different. So that is the different room. So I think we need to get another information for our room. And they never answered us. So we decided to go to convenience store and supermarket near the room to just look around. And after 40 minutes, I think, we got our new information for our room. We just checked it and headed out to the Akihabara. So that was our day first. So we were like kind of disappointed already, but it is what it is. So it could happen. So we're like, just, that's okay. We don't have to mad at this. We were about to go to Shibuya. So I woke up at 10 a.m. in the morning and I went to the washroom and water was freezing. Like literally the water was freezing. I just couldn't even wash my hands. I was like, okay, the heater, the heater thing is not working. I just have to wait. And after 30 seconds, it was still freezing. Oh my gosh, something is happening because until yesterday, water was warm, everything was working, but now it's not working. So I sent the message to the host again and they never answered us again. We started to freak out because we were about to go to Shibuya at 12 a.m. We are girls, we just cannot go out looking crusty. Duh. I literally sent a ton of messages to solve the problem and i tried to fix the household heater but i don't know anything about that so at the moment all i can do was just texting the messages and i gave up because they never answered us i just didn't know what to do and we were mad of course so after like two hours i think we finally got our first message which was could you please check the household heater it looks like this and this button is on and off which i did in the first place so i was like of course i did i think it's turning on but i don't think it's actually working they were like i'm gonna check the situation and let me tell you and i was like okay please do fast we have to go out and blah 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 after three hours we finally got the final updates from them which was the house household heater was broken so we just cannot use the warm water till the next morning and at that moment it was already 6 p.m i was like okay but we have to get refund for the day i don't know if i can say this luckily but at least we got refund for the day so my friend was like okay let's just go to convenience store to get some snacks we haven't eaten anything we were starving so i was like okay we are in japan so we just cannot let our day just go we just have to go to shibuya so we just decided to use our toner pass <laughs> to wash our face to wipe off the oily stuff from our face and we just used moisturizer and some lip tints and just headed out to shibuya and at the night i was just curious because they were hosting three different airbnb rooms in the same building so i was like is it just our room or just every room is like this and they're like every room's household heater is not working right now so i was kind of shocked because if every room is like this I'm pretty sure everyone was texting them because the water was freezing, but they never answered us. I mean, that is not a good attitude of being a host of Airbnb. I don't really understand and of course I don't want to experience that again, but at least we got refund so i just don't want to talk about anymore but here's the tea of it for you guys and also at least we enjoyed the night at shibuya we just enjoyed spending a lot of money in don Quixote. if you guys haven't watched my episode 2 please go watch it it is what it is so that's it of spilling the tea so next week is my final tokyo vlog which is pure land vlog so please stay tuned for that and i also have another room makeover vlogs so i hope you guys enjoy that as well so thank you for watching today's video and i hope you guys see you in my next video bye guys